Reality Print. I have talked about it before, but now I'm going to do a more in-depth how to create your own profile and also using just a thumb drive or a micro SD card in order to put your sliced model onto the Creality K1 or some other 3D printers from Creality. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Zachary and you know, working with 3D printers is fun, but I can imagine that if you want to get a very nice model out of your 3D printer, that you need to work for it. In this tutorial, I'm using Creality Print in order to make my own profile based upon a already existing profile and then make some little changes along the way. This is Creality Print. I'm currently using the black theme, but in the tools, you can also change it to the light theme. It is very bright. I don't want that. I want to have the dark theme. It keeps me more focused on the thing that is on the build plate. How to add a printer to Creality Print. You are going to add, and then we have the Ender series, the CR series, the Ceremon series, the K1 series, which I have the K1. You have also the Sonic Pad. And if you click, for example, on the Sonic Pad, these machines are all connected through the Sonic Pad. In my case, I'm using the K1. If you use a Creality Ender 3 or another Creality Ender machine, here are all the options for your needs. Once that is done, I'm using the K1 as mentioned with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and I'm going to make a new profile. I have it now on normal, so I click on add new profile, new normal test. This is going to be a test profile where you can set all the settings that you need. But since it is based on a copied profile from normal, I can already play with several settings along the way. So next, and now it starts with quality. Just like normal slicers like Cura or Prusa slicers, there are many settings that you can change. You can also change it to the advanced. You will get even more options, but let's keep focus on the normal standard settings that you can change right in here. The layer height, 0.2 or 0.20 millimeters. Well, the arc tolerance, I have never played with it, so I will leave it as it is. Small feature, max length. Well, if you stand on it, it will exactly say what it is. Feature outlines that are shorter than this length will be printed using small feature print. So it is going to print slower. And then everything else like enable bridge settings. Bridge has multiple layers, not just only one, but multiple. It speaks for itself. Shells, wall line count. At this moment, three. Top layers, four. Bottom layers, four. You can also increase this count to uh, like uh, four. In a normal wall setting, I always use two or three. If I need to have very strong parts, four is also a very nice numbers of walls that you can use. Enable ironing. It's a nice feature to have if you want to have a very smooth surface. Oh, Zachary here. If you like this content so far, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell to get the latest videos right in your notifications from YouTube. Let's uh, continue. The infill. Usually in most slicers, it is an option that is very well visible. But here, Creality made it like that, that it is a little bit more hidden, but you can play with it if you are going into the edit mode. At this moment, 15% infill, it's a standard thing. You can change it into uh, in, into 20, you can ch change it to, into uh, 30. Depends on how strong your part needs to be. The infill line distance, it's 2.67 millimeters. It will choose automatically because if I'm going back to the 15% infill, the distance is also wider as well. The infill pattern. Here you see grid, but if you check on it, you see exactly how the infill is going to look like. Let's go for this. Speed, because I'm using the K1, of course, everything is a lot faster than a standard normal FDM 3D printer, like Creality and the 3 Pro. 300 millimeter per second, out of all 200. Here you see all the speed settings for your print. You want to change something, you need to be there. Support, generate support. If you click on it, you will get everything that you will need if you are going to use support. Which kind of support do you need? Just a normal? You want to have a strong 
tree support or a slim tree support i have never heard the difference between them because normal tree support it doesn't print on the model itself from the build plate it grows directly and slowly in just one line closer to the model i think with tree slim you will get thinner lines that you don't have massive parts that you need to take away just like mentioned this is a test profile just check out how it will look like and if you are satisfied with the results and you are able to remove the supports very nicely and very quickly then you should use that one support pattern here you have also different kind of ways to do that and then you have some more things where you can play with material very important which material are you going to use for this profile because we are setting up a profile but of course if you are standard printing with pla then you can name this profile like normal slash pla because then every printing temperature is according to the right filament type but just be aware this is a profile for pla i'm printing with the k1 and the k1 needs a higher temperature in order to push the pla filament out faster than a normal standard fdm 3d printer will flow everything that you need just take take a little attention to it and play with it as you can see here i have generic pla already as material so this is you know a combination between my printer and also the material cooling very important if you're using pla doesn't matter first layer or first two three layers you don't need to have any fan but of course during the print of the other layers you need to have parts cooling extruder enable retraction very important because you don't want to have any oozing next to your model it looks ugly you don't want to have that retraction wipe it wipes somewhere in the model i guess uh, combing mode not in skin z hop when retracted z hop only over printed parts it's here enabled z hop height 0.4 that means twice the layer distance build plate adhesion auto brim in this this kind of way i'm going to click advanced on there's no other thing here but it, it will choose automatically a brim once the the surface is smaller and uh, very little i think it does a percentage somewhere but it uh, will do so we have brim we have lace we have none raft i'm very curious what lace is then then there are also some special modes like print sequence in my case all at once one layer at a time or wait for one model to finish before moving on to the next one if you want to use vase mode this is the special mode to select so that it will print in one go and you will get a very nice vase mesh fixes nothing in here but i think if you are clicking on advanced it's something that you usually don't play with here are all your settings and just like mentioned hover over it with a mouse and it says exactly what you need to know about these type of settings here then we have also experimental exact flow enabled enable coasting make overhand printable that is all that we click on save i've got now a normal test so let's uh, add a model to the build plate and um, let's see what is going to happen now i have a very beautiful model from photosment the tunnels bust on the build plate selected both models so the bust and also the hat let's uh, take the thumb drive out of there and put it into the printer and let's uh, start printing A special thanks for these amazing patreon supporters and youtube channel members because of their support every single month i can do more things on this channel if you also want to join the z3dp printing gang check the patreon link in the description of this video or check out the perks for the youtube channel member thank you so much for watching this video smash that like button 
subscribe if you are not subscribed and hit the bell for the latest notifications when i post a brand new video hey thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time peace bye bye